often lurking in the background or sometimes camouflaged centre stage, can you spot these authors making cameos on the big screen? Books have, of course, always been a rich source of content for filmmakers and directors, with book-to-film adaptations existing since the advent of cinema. While we all know the book will be better than the film, you might not know that their original creators are often snuck into these on-screen versions alongside their stories. It's a time-honoured Hollywood tradition, but they can be tricky to spot. So we've done the hard work for you and delved deep into our favourite film and TV adaptations to see just which authors we could find. And you might be surprised to see who's been hiding in the shadows. Michael Morpurgo spotted in Warhorse. Michael Morpurgo's beloved 1982 novel Warhorse recounts the experiences of soldiers in the First World War through the eyes of Joey, a horse who is bought by the army and sees action throughout Europe in the war. Warhorse received the Steven Spielberg treatment for the big screen in 2011, and when Joey comes back to the market in the film, there's a familiar face placing bets at the auction. This is Michael Morpurgo himself, complete with some lovely false sideburns, appearing here with his wife Claire next to him. Interestingly, this isn't Michael's first Warhorse cameo. The film version of Warhorse is actually an adaptation of the 2007 stage show, which has also seen Michael sneak into the production on multiple occasions in the role of Devon Farmer, amongst others. And he's certainly done the rounds, with Michael claiming to have boots from the New York show, scarf and hat from the Canada production, and the jacket, waistcoat and trousers set from London. It's touching that Michael's deep connection with the work has continued through all its guises over the years. Well, he's got you there. Nice try, Ted. You were great, Mr. N. Lee Child, spotted in the Jack Reacher movies. Acclaimed author Lee Child has made cameos in both movie adaptations of his action-packed thrillers. In 2012's Jack Reacher, based on the novel One Shot, he plays a sergeant sitting at the front desk of the police station in a scene where Tom Cruise's Reacher is bailed from jail. Though he doesn't speak, there's certainly something of a knowing look exchanged between the two. Similarly, 2016's Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, features Lee as an airport security officer, which definitely poses some interesting questions for his character's development in the interim between the two films. Interestingly, both films see Child handing Tom Cruise his possessions, a neat piece of symbolism which wasn't lost on the author, who's written about this move being a passing the baton of creative responsibility from author to filmmaker. Try your flight. Margaret Atwood spotted in The Handmaid's Tale. You'd be forgiven for missing Margaret Atwood's cameo in The Handmaid's Tale TV adaptation, but she certainly makes a forceful entrance. The author's few seconds on screen aren't in focus, but the scene feels sharp. Offred, The Handmaid's Tale narrator from Atwood's 1985 novel, who's played in the adaptation by Elizabeth Moss, is seen sitting in a circle with other handmaids in training during this early scene where she's too stunned to follow a command. Enter Atwood, playing an aunt, a trainer and monitor of the handmaids, who appears behind Offred, never in focus, and slaps her into compliance. If you aren't familiar with Atwood's appearance, then the lack of focus means you'd likely never know this was her. But in a way, this only serves to make the role all the more startling if you are familiar with the author. After all, it's rather jarring to see Atwood working for the Republic of Gilead. Jenny Han spotted in To All the Boys I've Loved Before. And so I wrote him a letter. Jenny Han's To All the Boys I've Loved Before YA series has recently been turned into a trilogy of much loved films for Netflix, following the high school years and teenage crushes of Lara Jean. While the books were inspired by Jenny's own habit of writing love letters in her youth, her adult self appears in a blink and you'll miss it moment in the first film. In the movie, we're shown a flashback with Lara Jean and Lucas dancing during a homecoming. And as they take over the dance floor, we see a beaming Jenny standing in the background, acting as chaperone. The author spoke in interviews of the excitement and fun she had on the set, and that's clear to see in the scene itself. John le Carré spotted in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and The Night Manager. Many of the late, great John le Carré's espionage novels have been adapted for film and TV, and it's not hard to see why. 
but you may not know that the author himself has made an appearance or two. In the BBC television adaptation of The Night Manager, starring Tom Hiddleston, the author appears as an angry restaurant diner who's had his meal ruined. Apologise for my friend's misbehaviour. I think you're bloody well shot. However, he's quickly charmed by Jonathan Pine's powers of persuasion and offered to buy lunch. Legend has it that Le Carre tried to expand his two-line walk-on role in the adaptation by ad-libbing his part out to a full eight lines. Sadly, much of those nuggets of wisdom were left on the cutting room floor. So smooth. Le Carre also made a brief appearance in a Christmas party scene in the 2011 film adaptation of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. The author can be found here, standing next to another spy dressed like Lenin. Clearly, his early life as an actual MI6 operative came in handy for blending effortlessly into the scene here. <laughs> Stephanie Meyer, spotted in Twilight. The author behind the best-selling vampire novels, Stephanie Meyer, appears in the debut of the film series, 2008's Twilight. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> A scene is set in Chief of Police Charlie Swan's favourite diner, where he's eating with daughter Bella. At the opening of the shot, however, Stephanie Meyer is sat at the bar, working away on her laptop, and is served a plate of veggies. Veggie plate, Stephanie. Interestingly, she's actually referred to as Stephanie by the waitress, which could cause some ramifications for the lore of the Twilight universe. There's a persistent fan theory that Maya asked the cameras not to film her laptop screen as during this very scene, at the time of filming, she was working on the follow-up novel Breaking Dawn. We have to admit, this seems a little dubious, but it's a fun thought. You the spinach salad, I hope that's okay. You should order one for yourself next time. Cut back on the steak. Hunter S. Thompson, spotted in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Founder of Gonzo Journalism, Hunter S. Thompson, has arguably one of the most memorable author cameos of all time. Thompson appears in the 1998 dark comedy Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, based on his 1971 novel of the same name, detailing a journey through Las Vegas where some initial journalistic intentions dissolve into an exploration of the city under the influence of psychoactive substances. The author appears in a flashback scene, where Depp's character Raoul Duke, which is Thompson's pseudonym for himself and the name Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas was actually first published under, is wandering around a music club called The Matrix. One of the things he spots? Thompson himself sitting at a table and lighting a woman's cigarette. The character Rail directly acknowledges his presence, saying, There I was. Mother of God, there I am. Holy what else but a meta cameo author appearance would be fitting for this hedonistic trip through Vegas? Uh, clearly, I was a victim of the drug explosion. A natural street freak, just eating whatever came by. Stephen King spotted in Pet Cemetery. As many of Stephen King's fans will know, the renowned author is not shy when it comes to making cameos in adaptations of his works. Today, though, we found him in 1989's supernatural horror film Pet Cemetery. Here, King plays a minister who officiates Missy Dandridge's funeral. Pretty appropriate considering the frequent themes of death and all things horror throughout his novels. May the Lord bless you and keep you. A new film adaptation of the book was made in 2019, although we haven't found Stephen in that one yet. But who knows, with his track record, maybe he's cameoing as one of the pets. Irvine Welsh, spotted in Train Spotting. Not one to let the actors have all the debaucherous fun. Irvine Welsh makes an appearance in the 1996 hit adaptation of his novel Train Spotting. In fact, Welsh's appearance amounts to more than a cameo. He plays a named character, drug dealer Mikey Forrester, who supplies Ewan McGregor's Renton with the opiates he believes will help end his heroin addiction. Opium suppositories. It's interesting to consider Mikey Forrester's composed purposes. sense of control through the lens of Welsh's authorial position as omnipotent creator. For your Just needs. as Renton is reliant on Mikey in his time of need, in a way Ewan McGregor is reliant on Irvine Welsh for creating the characters in the first place. Oh, you're feeling better now though, eh? Oh, aye, for all the good they've done me, I might as well have stuck them up my arse. Danny Wallace, spotted in Yes Man. 
While author, presenter and comedian Danny Wallace is no stranger to TV screens, his cameo in the movie adaptation of his 2005 book Yes Man is an altogether different affair. Say it again. The film version sees Jim Carrey take on the role of Carl, a man who is encouraged out of his negative outlook on life by saying yes to any and every request, opportunity or invitation that comes his way. Yes. This is of yes, course the same premise behind Wallace's book, in which he documented his time truly living his life this way. It's a lovely touch then that Wallace is featured in the bar scene at the closing of the film as a party guest, both here as part of the surprise entrance and again sat at the bar with a pint. Clearly this cameo business is thirsty work. So, that's our list. Are there any we missed? Let us know your favourites in the comments below. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Penguin YouTube channel by clicking here. You can find the books featured linked in the description below. See you next time.